Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to change the front struts and the rear shocks on this 2003 Toyota Tacoma. Let's get started. The first step is to remove the spare tire located underneath the truck bed. This will give you more space to remove the driver's side rear shock. Insert the end of the jack handle into the lowering screw and turn it counterclockwise. The tools you're going to need is a 17mm socket, a socket ratchet, and some WD-40. Spray some WD-40 on the top bolt and the bottom bolt. Before you start the work, uh, make sure your truck is parked on a flat site. Uh, you do not need a jack to do the rear shock, there's plenty of clearance. Uh, make sure you use a creeper to slide in and out of the bottom of the truck, that made it a lot easier. I'm ready to start with the front struts. Uh, using the bevel end of the wheel nut wrench, pry off the wheel center cap. Make sure you loosen the wheel nuts before raising the vehicle. Make sure the uh, jack is positioned on a level and solid place under the frame side rail. Also use a jack stand to secure the truck. Remember safety is first. Add WD-40 to the top three nuts that hold the coil assembly and the bottom nut and bolt that hold the strut to the lower control arm. Use a 14 millimeter wrench to remove the top three nuts. I used a 18 inch long galvanized steel pipe that I had in my garage. This provided me with the necessary leverage to make the job easier. Use a breaker bar to loosen the bottom nut. With the rubber mallet, push the bolt as far as it goes. The next step is to get a large crowbar and insert it on the top of the coil and rest it on the upper arm. Push down on, this, on the crowbar to release tension on the bolt. Hit the center of the bolt and it should come out very easy. Using this method, the bolt thread will not be damaged. Once I had the assembly out, for safety reasons only, I decided to take the coil assembly to pay boys. They had a machine that made the job look painless. At pay boys, the labor to replace the strut on the assembly was just $40 for the pair. Trust me, it was worth the money. Attach the three nuts to the upper strut mount. The bottom of the strut had a skew angle and was not lining up with the bottom plate. A screwdriver was used to rotate the strut and that made it a lot easier to line up the holes. Use the crowbar to line up the strut with the bottom hole. This will make the job a lot easier. At this time, check and double check to make sure that all the nuts and bolts are tied into specification. This is very important for the system not to fail. I want to go over lessons learned and must have tools that make the job easier. Starting with the tools, first on the list, the crowbar must have. Second, the WD-40 to loosen those stubborn nuts. Third, the creeper made a lot easier to slide in and out from the bottom of the truck. And of course, the last one, the floor jack and the jack stands for safety reasons. Lessons learned. Start early. You never know the problems you may encounter. Take the coil assembly to a professional with the right machine. It's a simple job and you will avoid injuries. Well, I hope this video 
will make your job easier. Take care.